The man who spent millions developing a spaceship for civilians vows that this program will continue even after a catastrophic crash in a California desert. As Daniel Nottingham reports, the search for answers right now underway. Richard Branson offered his condolences in his first public comments since Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 blew to pieces over California's Mojave Desert, killing one of its two test pilots. In testing the boundaries of human capabilities and technologies, we are standing on the shoulders of giants. Yesterday, we fell short. The company's billionaire founder arrived in Mojave Saturday to meet with the employees. 39-year-old Michael Alsbury was found dead inside the spacecraft. The other pilot was seriously injured after parachuting to safety. The National Transportation Safety Board has a team of more than a dozen investigators here on the ground in the Mojave Desert to comb the crash site and examine flight data. The NTSB says this is a unique case for the agency. This will be the first time we have been in, in the lead of a space launch that involved persons on board. Branson is determined to be the leader in space tourism. He vows his program will cautiously move forward. It's a massive setback. It's, it's horrendous for the families of the test pilot. Um, but um, uh, we've, we've now got to pick ourselves up. Friday's accident was the second private spacecraft to blow up this week. A rocket bound for the International Space Station exploded moments after liftoff Tuesday in Virginia. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, Mojave, California. Now, Branson is offering a refund to any of the nearly 800 people who have prepaid up to $250,000 to be a passenger aboard the spaceship on future flights.